What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at how easy it is to add SVG icons to Squarespace 7.0 or 7.1. So the reason that it's better to use an SVG icon as opposed to a PNG or JPEG icon is because icons that are PNG or JPEG are fixed to a certain resolution because they use pixels. So if you save the icon at 400 pixels by 400 pixels on really, really high definition retina devices, those icons might look a little pixelated, especially as they're scaling up and down. Um, so they're they might look different on mobile than they will on desktop. So that's where SVG icons come into play. SVGs are vector graphics, meaning they're infinitely scalable because they're just made up of points as opposed to pixels. So they'll look super clean and crisp on the smallest and the largest devices. So it's definitely best practice to be, whenever you're uploading icons to your site, to make sure that they're SVG icons as opposed to image icons. So the first thing that we need to cover is where to get icons from. So one of my favorite places to get icons from is Icon Monster, and that's a monster without an E. So this is a free icon site where they have a bunch of different icons here and you don't have to provide attribution. So that differentiates this site from a lot of other icon sites. And the other icon sites, if you're on their free plan, they'll make you provide attribution in the footer of the page. Um, but with Icon Monster, you can just download these and use them and you don't have to give them any credit for it. So that's really nice. So for example, um, let's just go ahead and we'll pull this human icon here. And so we want to make sure that we have SVG selected. Go ahead and read through the license agreement if you want, or just click accept. Click the embed option and then you can copy this SVG HTML to your clipboard just by clicking this little button up here. So this is basically the HTML that makes up the graphic. And so once we copy that, we can head over to our site. And since it's HTML, we'll need to add a code block and we'll paste in our SVG code into our code block. So delete the default and paste in your SVG icon and you'll see it appear right there. So in order to change the size, um, if we just change this to like 80 by 80, for example, if the icon doesn't have this specific instruction here on the SVG, then it won't scale properly. So a lot of the icons that you download from Icon Monster might not have this view box property here. So um, I'm just gonna copy that and I'll paste it right after the width and the height. And then I'll make sure I have a space in between this XMLNS link. Um, and now you can see we can change the size to whatever we want. Let's do even a little bit bigger. Um, and you can change it to whatever size you want the icon to be. So I don't want it to be too big. I think it should be 80 pixels. Perfect. So the other thing that we can do easily with these SVG icons is change the color of them. So for example, let's say I want this icon to be pink. All I have to do is add a style attribute and then I'll input my style between these quotation marks. So the color property is a, a fill and then you say whatever color you want to put. So for example, I'm gonna make the fill color pink and now my icon is pink. So it's really easy to just quickly change the icon color to whatever your brand color might be that you're working with. And so the last thing that you might wanna do is center the icon. And the way that you do this is, since we're just working with HTML here, we can create a new container div. Um, and for the style, we'll put the text, oops, text align to the center. And then we'll finish off that tag. And then we'll make sure that um, we have the SVG inside of this div container here. Now you can see that the icon is centered because we have it contained within this element that has a text align of center. So that's how you could center your element. And of course, um, if you want this to be right aligned, easy to do that as well. So that's how easy it is to add these vector icons to your website. 
All you do is just copy in the SVG code for the icon into a code block, and then you can change the color if you want. Um, if you're not able to scale it, make sure that it has this view box property, uh, and then surround it in a container in order to give it a text align of center so that the icon is centered. Uh, and then we can hit apply and we can hit save. And this icon will be totally crisp and clear on every device because it's a vector and not a pixely image. So that was Icon Monster. They have a bunch of different icons here. Um, you can just type in whatever you're looking for and um, they have a ton of different free icons here um, in, in a couple different styles. So um, Icon Monster is one site that I love. Another site that you can get icons for free and you don't have to provide any attribution is uh, material.io. It's the material design library. And these icons are more made for like app developers uh, and people that are gonna be using a lot of different icons within their apps. So they're not, they're not that stylish. They're pretty kind of, they're like straightforward, but they come in different, like here's uh, an outlined version. Here's the filled version, outline, rounded, two-tone, and sharp. So they do come in a variety of different styles that you can choose from. So if you're not finding something that's on Icon Monster, you can always come over here to Material Design uh, and look for the icon here because they have a, a ton of icons. Um, and then you can also look at the different categories here as well. So let's talk about getting a, an icon from Material Design onto our website. It's a little bit more difficult than Icon Monster. That's why I prefer Icon Monster. But all you have to do is just select the icon that you want to download. And then you'll see here in the bottom uh, left-hand corner, we can click this download SVG button. And then it'll open up, once we click on it, it'll open up the icon in a new browser tab. So the way that we can get it onto our site to like actually copy the HTML for the icon onto our site is we'll right-click on the icon and click inspect. And pretty much the only code here on the page is the icon code. So what we can do is we can click these three little dots to the right of it, and then go to copy, copy outer HTML, and that'll copy the icon code or HTML here. So then we can come back to our website and do the same thing that we did before, where we add a code block and we can paste in our SVG icon HTML. So now again, let's go ahead and change this. The height and the width should be 80. And then I can add my other div style equals text align center. And then we'll copy this SVG into our centered container. Boom, and then same thing, if we wanna change the color also to pink, then we'll do a fill of pink. Perfect. So two different places that you can get free icons, uh, and I love that Icon Monster is so easy. You just click on the icon, and then click I agree, click embed, and then copy the SVG HTML here. So I love how easy it is. Material designs, you have to do that workaround where you download it and then open it and then find the code that way. But honestly, it's it's not that difficult and it has a really, really big library of icons. So those are two free versions. There's also Flaticon. Uh, and the nice thing about Flaticon is they have icons with a little bit more color and a little bit more character. So these types of icons are very plain and boring, but these Flaticon icons are nice because they have like color, they have hand-drawn versions, they have a lot of different styles of icons which can give your website or your client's website a little bit more character. So this is a paid service because their icons are a lot cooler, but it looks like it's $10 a month for if you pay for a year. So honestly, that's not that bad. And that's, if you're doing a lot of websites, that's a perfectly justifiable business expense, uh, in my opinion. And you get cool icons with more color, more vibrance, more character.
Uh, and then I, I don't have this, so I can't walk you through the process of installing those icons, but I have a feeling it would be the, a very similar process. You'll download those icons and then add a code block to Squarespace and then paste in the SVG code, uh, just like you did with these free versions. So that's how easy it is to add SVG icons to your Squarespace website. Drop a comment down below if you're gonna now use SVG icons instead of using PNG icons. I highly recommend it. They'll be much crisper across all devices. All right guys, that's it for me. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.